Hey guys, what's up? It's Chad Close here with CD Gaming and Close Blender, and today we're going to be talking about uh, Lerp. Uh, Lerp is a pretty cool tool that, based on a number from 0 to 1, you can blend. Uh, I guess that's the best word, probably. Blend two vectors, colors, um, really any two numbers together. So I've got some examples here set up, and I'll just go over them real quick, and then we will. I'll show you how to do one. So right here, here's a color loop. So this cube right here. I have it going from purple to orange, and as I increase this and closer to closer to one, it gets closer and closer to orange. So that's that's an example of a color one. We'll go and talk about the coding in a little bit. Right here, here's a movement one. So if I just, I'll explain these in a sec. But it, it just goes in a straight line to the start to the end position and these are just transforms that are holding uh, place markers so if we go up on the vertical it, we can just see it goes in a straight line straight to there also with the rotate one uh, we can lerp it and as you can see it goes from the begin rotation zeros to 90, 80, 45 and you can see it up here so that's pretty cool. Um, let's talk about the coding. So first, let's go into the color, color alert. It's pretty easy. So we have our start variable, our start color variable, which is simply defined as a color, our end color, which is just a color, and our lerp slider. For right now, we're just doing that, which is going to be manual, zero to one. You could have a timer. Oh, I'll show you a timer that I quickly set up for this. And then here is what lerps it. So transform.render.material.color that accesses the color of the material. Color.lerp means we're going to lerp two colors based on a variable lerp slider. So we put our start color, comma, end color, comma, our lerp. It's our, our lerp variable, which is going to be 0 to 1. It can be bigger or smaller, but it's just going to round to 1 or 0. So. I'll show you that again. And it just simply goes to one color to the other. And you can see, like, if I change it, now it's going to go from purple to white. Purple to white. So, pretty basic. Not going to go into that anymore. Uh, now, next for the rotate alert. I got some more variables in here. So, I got the begin rotation, the end rotation. Those are just simply vector threes. I'll alert it is just simply if I want to alert. Um, I don't, if I just want to, if I want to lerp it, if I want to time lerp it, I'll have that variable. So depending if we want to just lerp it by a manual or uh, I have this quick timer set up. So if there's a time lerp, we're just going to add to the timer plus delta time. And then the lerp variable is just going to be the time times a variable called the speed. Right now I have speed 0.5. So in one second, the timer will go from 0 to 1, obviously, and the speed will then shrink it. So in this case, since speed is 0.5, it'll take 2 seconds to go from the beginning rotation to the end rotation. And we'll look how that looks in here. So as before, the lerp slider just goes by that. But if I have time lerp, you can see it goes over 2 seconds. And if I reset it, it turns the... Sorry. It turns the timer back to zero right here if time lerp timer equals zero. So I can change this and go say three, so it's gonna be really fast. Or I can have it really, really slow. So yeah, that's that's another use. Now for the position one, I added slurp, which is kind of cool. Um so here again we just have uh, our simple start position, which is a transform, end position, which is a transform. And then we just take those positions for our positions. Lerp it, slurp it, arc it, just simple what we want to do, and then a lerp slider. So lerp it's the same as always. This one is slurp it, slurp, uh, which I'll show you how to do that. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. So if I go to the position one, and I lerp it, and I move it, it just goes in a straight line. Now if I slurp it though, 
it goes in, as you can see, an arc pattern. I'll go from the side view and you can really see this. So it arcs. Now, if you go on to Unity's website and look up slurp, it gives you this example script, which makes a uh, which it makes an arc, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to go into depth on this, but I just copied the code pretty much and made it so I can use it, and I can show you what that does, which is pretty cool. So if I arc it, it just arcs it. So I'll look at it from the side view here. So pretty simple. But yeah, so Lerp's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool tool. You can also do other things. Uh, color Lerp, Color 2, Inverter, Vector 2, 3, 4, Material. You can Lerp pretty much anything in Blender, which is, or in Unity, sorry, which is pretty cool. Um, make sure you check out our website, cdgaming.weebly.com also. You can look at some of our new games. Spheric is our, our newest game. It's pretty fun. It's a... Uh, it's a cube based game, kind of like a uh, cube runner, but uh, a little different. We got other ones, other pretty cool ones out there. So just uh, the links are, the links are right there. So go check it out. It's on the Android market, Google Play. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.